Hi everybody, I'm Eileen Hull and I'm here at Craft Stash t today and I want to show you how quick and easy it is to make the new Sizzix notebook die. It is just so easy. Uh, we're going to start out with a piece of mat board which we took from our Sizzix little sizzles package. Uh, we're going to take one sheet and it doesn't use the whole thing even but we're going to be able to cut an entire book in one pass. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our die and as you can see it is symmetrical so there's no right and wrong side. The only thing is if you're covering it with paper you would want to put the right side with the paper facing the die. But we're just going to use plain mat board today to show you how fast it goes together. I'm going to take my mat board and cover the entire sheet die and I'm going to use my extended cutting pads. You don't really need to but I'm going to use them just because they're here and I'm going to roll that through the die. Through the big shot. And just like that we have our book cover. So what we would do is take it and score it on each of these lines. You could also use this for a card base if you cut it out of paper and just put the, uh, you could fold it right there. So here you have your little book. And all you would do is poke some holes with your die pick in the binding and you can thread your elastic through. You could also use your crocodile. You could do one hole, two holes, uh, and then you would as I said, thread the elastic through. Another tip on this die is when you have your holes, you can put a little slit here and a slit here to the, to the hole that you have punched that's not there. And then you can thread hair bands through and use that as a really quick binding. And then the beauty of this one is that it's like a traveler's notebook in that you can take these pieces and just thread them through. So if you wanted to, if you used up your notebook, you can just get a new one and thread it right back in. And there you have your little notebook and it holds two of these perfectly. So here's a cute little book um, made by one of my team and they have put some metal on the cover. They've used another die cut. So you can layer and layer and layer to your heart's content. You can use your stamps. You could use texture paste, sprays, whatever you like to put on the front. And then again, she has uh, made this as a traveler's notebook. So she just opened her little book and slid it into the elastic. Here's a little flower she tucked in. I think that is so cute. And here you have a cute little notebook. And there's the little wind up to the robot. I love that. Here's another one, and this one, I don't know if you all have seen the new Artist Trading Coins. Uh, our friend Julia has added some embossing powder and made kind of a celestial image on the front, and then uh, her little sentiment, and then again the same thing. She's added some um, inks and stamps to the inside and created this special little book. And there's Constellation, the Milky Way. There we are and that's that one. Here's another one. This is kind of different. Um, she made a little sewing kit out of this and she added a zipper which I hear took a very long time. But look at this, the measuring tape on the edge and the nice little plaque and then when you open it it's a sewing kit and she used the actual images uh, from an old sewing machine and sewed and made herself a little sewing kit. So those are just a couple of ideas to give you inspiration. All right, I have one more surprise for you. Look at where these notebooks fit. They tuck inside the treasure box, which you can find at Craft Stash. That's a separate die. It's a big XL and this will hold, and I don't know how they survived in here without me eating them, but you can tape in candy, which is Kit Kats, my favorite, and make yourself a little stash of chocolate. Uh, you can use your uh, pattern paper. You can make like a little felt uh, sewing kit. And what did she do in here? A little notebook I think, yeah. So you can use these images that you find on the pattern paper and then she covered these little notebooks to match. So I think these are just adorable and you can fit three of these and perfectly fit inside the trinket box. 
I'm, the treasure box, excuse me. Isn't that cute? Thanks so much for watching. I hope you got some inspiration when you go to work with your little notebook die.